local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Coming up on 547 now this morning. It's another kind of wacky morning. I, I have this feeling because you're going on vacay. So it feels like a Friday. I'm not going to say Friday for you or for me. <laughs> for you. Oh, I thought you were going to say Friday. Woo, oh, get rid of him. Yeah. It's a Tuesday Friday here okay. for this guy. I, you, know? you guys will miss me though. Huh? Yeah, of course we will. But uh, w that's only because I'm counting on you bringing that Florida warmth up oh, I to see. us. Because yeah. yeah. you said it wasn't that warm there yesterday. No, they had a cold day yesterday and maybe today as well. I'm not quite sure. I haven't looked it down mm -hmm. there, but I know we had some people complaining on Twitter about how cold <laughs> it was in Florida yesterday. I will yesterday. not bring back snow from Florida. Good. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> we're uh, we're going to count on that. Okay. Yeah. Because well, yeah. right now that's what we have. Yeah, we're going to have more snow day. <laughs> we start this off on our weather alerts. We can see winter weather advisory uh, through the south central, southeast, and northeast up until Wednesday 1 a.m. central central daylight time. That area is going to see three to five inches. Some areas maybe a little bit less than that. Some areas could see a little bit more. We also have that winter storm warning out to the east and that's up until looks like 7 a.m. central daylight time. That area you're going to see probably four to seven inches of snow. Could see one to maybe two inches of snowfall per hour at times. So just really a uh, large snow rate here. Uh, Snowstorm impact index is showing us lots of moderate impact out to the east uh, and to the south central. That's going to cause a difficult driving conditions. Uh, that's what that's going to show us. So got to be careful uh, through the evening today into tomorrow morning and then road crews obviously start to catch up by then. But we could see this grow a little bit into South Central closer to Bismarck just as we get through the day and more of these heavier bands uh, do start to form. We're seeing the first band of this system has formed to the South uh, West. And that's really from Dickinson uh, down to the South Dakota. That will continue to form to the North Northeast and move to the North Northeast as we get through this morning. Uh, temperatures right now ranging from single digits in the central portion of the state to teens out in the west. So we'll continue to warm up during the day, uh, get up to the 20s, but still way below average. Wind speeds in directions 5 to uh, 15, maybe 20 miles per hour from the east. Luckily, winds stay relatively calm this week. We'll get a little breezy over the weekend, but over the next day or so, really going to see this for most of it. Could see wind gusts up to 20 miles per hour. Wind chills right now, uh, teens and single digits below zero for most. Out to the far west, you actually are getting some positive uh, single digits there, but wind chills won't be much of a factor as we continue to warm up during this week. Uh, highs through the afternoon again in the 20s, uh, still 15 to 20 degrees below average for this time of year. Precision cast is showing us that snow starting to form down to the south southwest. It will really just form on and off throughout the day. Uh, could see heavier bands form and then by the afternoon we start to see that heavier snow uh, to the southeast south of Jamestown, really probably in between Bismarck and Fargo where we're going to see that heaviest snow. And that's going to move to the north northeast by the time we get through the night, just that heaviest snow in that Devil's Lake area, Jamestown area out to the east as well. And then by the morning, tomorrow, it actually moves out. We'll be just looking at cloudy conditions. Still could be seeing some light snow uh, across the area, but that cloud cover will start to lift Thursday morning. We'll actually have sunny skies through Thursday afternoon to a sunny day on Friday. And by this point, temperatures are covering back uh, to the 30s, so maybe a calmer end of the week. By the time we hit the weekend, though, a light snow will start to form. Could be seeing light snow Saturday and Sunday, just not really showing up on precision cast right now. Now, snow potential for this event, though, uh, looks like the heaviest band still to the south across 94 from Dickinson all the way east of Fargo. Uh, three to five inches is what we're looking like right now for many areas. Now, I will say in between Bismarck and Fargo, you're probably going to be looking at higher amounts in that five to eight is going to really grow as we get through this system today. Your high temps tomorrow uh, still in the 20s for everyone because get some 30s in some select locations. Your Dickinson uh, three day forecast got us at 22 today, 24 tomorrow, 32 on Thursday. Williston, 25 today, 26 tomorrow, 34 on Thursday. Your Minot seven day forecast. Well, teens are 20s all the way through about Friday. That's where we'll see the 30s, then those upper 20s back for the start of next week. We'll have snow on and off many days this week. Your Bismarck seven day forecast, 20s till Friday, back to the 30s. It'll be sunny as well, uh, but then we hit the weekend, 30s and 20s with that light snow chance. Well, they say don't shoot the messenger, but I'm increasing my chances of pummeling you with snowballs today. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. Oh, yeah. hey. <laughs> wow. uh. That was thank you to Victoria for bringing these wonderful snowballs to us. That's right. You know,